It's Bourbon Night. Hello. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. How are we? How are we doing? I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We had quite the pre-weekend. We did. Pre-weekend, <laughs> pre yeah. Pre-weekend. Yeah. Thursday night and Friday night. Mm-hmm. Saturday was sort of a recovery. And, what do you mean uh, sort of a recovery day? Completely. <laughs> I uh, barely moved. <laughs> yeah, completely a recovery day. And then today's been a lot of unloading and, and putting stuff up. Uh, if you don't know what we're talking about, Thursday was our E.H. Taylor um, barrel proof dinner or, you know, tasting, taste, tasting and dinner, and dinner uh, batches one through six. And then Friday was the big bourbon night. Yeah. So since that happened so recently, we thought we would uh, share with you guys what got bottle killed mm -hmm. at the event. And then we'll sip along on some things, kind of look at things that uh, didn't get finished. And maybe talk about if we were surprised. Yeah, or about that. maybe some sleepers. Yeah, but Chad, you just bunch. skimmed over. I think the most important part of well, both of those events. Well, I was building to it. Okay. As we get more people. Oh, uh, okay. Coming in here. I apologize. It's your show, and I just sit here. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. I didn't get the memo. Didn't get that memo. No. While we wait for people to come in, we have our first super chat of the evening, Sarah. Nick, thank you. I uh, said to Good Bourbon, and I need a list. Wait. I need a to, list of the bar night. Oh, of the you need a list. Um, no, I th actually I, I I thought about putting putting it on there. I guess yeah, that link. Yeah, I'll we'll do see. it. Yeah, I'll do we'll it. See. Thank you, Nick. Appreciate that. Cheers. Thanks for the super chat. Here we'll just do that. This is a mystery pour. It smells vintagey. It does. Yeah, our friend uh, Perry, who was at at uh, Friday, he dropped this off to us. And we don't know what it is. We do not. I'm supposed to text them when we're ready for the reveal. So I thought this would be a good thing to go ahead and have in the glass. And it does smell vintagey. Very strong caramel on it. She's All not right. shushing me. She's no, shushing, shushing her phone. Us. Okay. I just, I think, <sighs> put a link in the chat to the menu, which you should be able to see the menu for the go. Big Bourbon Night. Okay. There you go. Wait. Oh yes, it has a bit of a vintage note to it. That funky caramel. Yeah, a lot of strong caramel, like savory peppered oak mm -hmm. kind of thing. Hmm. Well, I'll dive in. If that's not from yesteryear, I'd be shocked. Yeah, very vintagey feeling, huh? Yeah. And also maybe lower-ish proof. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm thinking, let's see. I feel like it's a good, a really good 80 proofer. Possibly 86. It's yeah, pretty, it's super pretty light. I would say not higher than 90. And I would say... It's kind of giving me some, like, 90s Heaven Hill... It's not, hmm. at first I was going to say 80s turkey. I was going to say turkey. But then I thought, it's not as caramely. Like the nose is, presents more of that than the actual palate does. Mm -hmm. And so I thought it maybe was reading a little bit more like early 90s Heaven Hill pre-fire, if you will. Maybe, could be 80s, I don't could know. I see that. I've only gotten to try, you know, not a handful, more than my fair share of vintages, but I have not tried everything from everywhere, so... This could be something I've never had before. It's true. Are you no. ready? Do you have a guess? Or I want to know what it is. Well, my guess is like 80 proof of uh, something from the 80s or 90s. Um, hmm, distillery. Give us a bottle guess, or at least a distillery guess. Yeah. Um, I think I'll go with, I think I'll stick with turkey. Okay. But I could definitely see it being... Yeah, some pre-fire Heaven mm. Hill also. Because I suggested it. <laughs> Super chat from Michael saying so sad I couldn't make it out to the uh, make it out to Kentucky for the events. Proud of you all. Thanks. Uh, proud of you guys for the fundraising efforts. I remember fondly doing uh, Toys for Tots with the US MC unit back before Sarah was born. Oh, um, yeah. I don't remember because well, I you. wasn't there. Thank you, Michael. We'll have a, a bottle here I'm to thirsty. cheers with, so we'll just do each other but yeah that does uh lead into the most important part our fundraising efforts the reason yes. why we d the reason for the season 
The reason for the season. Uh, Thursday night, we did the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research, and mm -hmm. we raised... We raised over $4,500, Whoa. Folks. It's crazy. Yeah. And, I mean, I do see these generous super chats coming in tonight, and mm -hmm. you guys are awesome. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. love you. Thank you so much. Should have said this at the top of the show, but that donation link is still live. Is it in the description? Uh, No. It's Cute. not in the description. I can send it in. Wow. Look yeah. at this. Excellent producing skills on our part. Um, yeah, Sarah will put that in there. I'll put it in the chat and right if now. You, uh, if you would like. You in can... lieu of a super chat, mm -hmm. please feel free. I understand some people don't want to do the extra steps if you already have super chat set up. Sure. Not an issue, mm -hmm. but we would take that as well. In, in lieu of a super chat, if you feel like it helping us i'd love to get it to five thousand but yeah if we could get it to five thousand where it's like it's at 46 and some change is um, it at 46 mm -hmm. i thought it was at 45 i think it's at 46 let us see Wanna i just shared the link yeah i have it pulled up let's find out i've only tried a handful of 80s vintages mm -hmm. <laughs> <all grown. laughs> i've only tried i've only had my fair share it is at four thousand five hundred and fifty four. Oh, okay and our goal was 3,000, so we've already surpassed our goal. So no complaints here. I no. was just saying, you know, we could give up our super chats and sure, yeah. the evening and say, here please, you go. Please, please do. Totally up to you all. No pressure. James Wolverton, who we also hung out with on Friday night, says, amazing event Friday night. Great to see you, you guys and enjoy some amazing pours and terrific company. Thank you, James. Yeah. yeah it was great. We actually had, and we forgot to, to take that picture, James, but we had... Um, the, the, the pick team from the very first <gasps> IBN pick. You mean Knob Creek and Mash Made in Heaven? That's the one. This you, old... You, me, Ta Cooper, and, and James, James Wolverton. Wow. Yep. 29th, mm -hmm. April of 2019. What a time. And that was a full bottle, uh... By, this was um, a full bottle at, at the bar so people really wanted to try this one it <laughs> yeah. is a little bit notorious yeah um and it is it is it is gone now mm -hmm. so friday night when james was there our cause for the evening was the marine corps toys for tots mm -hmm. and we raised twenty three hundred dollars yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're right yep twenty three hundred okay. now i was like and you subtract this and you carry that now yep twenty three hundred dollars yeah. for uh toys for tots yeah, so um, that was a, uh, a silent auction that we had mm -hmm. um, things. Um, we donated some bottles and we donated, donated some, some bottles. little things that we've collected over time. Mm -hmm. Other people brought some bottles. You uh, had an original piece of artwork there, eh, Sarah. Eh, eh. Yeah, which did well. It, I, I listed for 25 bucks. I was like, you know what? But it went for a lot more than that. Well, <laughs> I kept making this joke and people kept being like, stop. But I was like, you know, it's like... Um, What's the word called? It's like, um, oh, I almost have it. Like when an animal can do something cool. Uh, Anapomorphic? No, no, no. Mm, Stupid uh, Patrick? No. It's Let's like when on. something only has value because it's like one of those weird things. Oh, it's like kitschy or something? Yeah, yeah, I like that. But that's not the word I'm thinking of. But okay. I can't, I can't think of it. Anyways... It's like one of those things where it's only cool because you didn't expect it. Mm. Like, that elephant can paint. I didn't know an elephant could paint. I'll buy that elephant's painting. I, I would, yeah. So I, anyways, I painted something, not calling myself an elephant, but I'm just saying like, <laughs> it's not something you expect she's from, as good your, as an elephant. from your YouTube personality. And so I was like, I'll just throw it in the auction and we'll see what it gets. So I put 25 bucks on it and... Got over 100. Got, yeah, like we got over 100, which was like cool. That. Mm hmm Yeah. Um, so very cool. Oh, I almost have the word. <laughs> well, you think I'm going mm. to uh, text Perry Tip of here. my tongue. Shoot. It's going to bother me the rest of the night. I'll let it go. We'll move on. Oh, hey. Novelty. Thank novelty. you. Just for the novelty of it. Okay. Wigmaster, thank you. I don't know if anyone <laughs> else said it already, but yes, the novelty of it. Perfect. Oh, I was having such a hard time. That was going to keep me awake tonight. Appreciate you. Hey, we got uh, we got a hundred and three dollar donation. What to the Michael J. Fox oh, Foundation? Thank you. Yeah. I don't think anyone would want to remain anonymous. I think if you can, you can choose that. You can choose to remain anonymous. So we'll we'll just you say, can see it on the donation page. Yeah, so, so it's we'll just public. say thank you, Caitlin. Thank you, Caitlin. Thank you. Appreciate that a lot. Yeah. 
Uh, all right, let me text Perry and, and say, what so is hi. this? <laughs> Uh, what is this, Perry? For I could drink. I could drink some of this. Yeah. It's gonna really surprise me if this is modern day, because it does not taste that way to me. Mm -hmm. We shall see. We shall see. Keep it right there. So uh -huh. we don't have a donation page for Toys for Tots because. It's they a, don't work. It doesn't work yeah. that way. We collect the funds from the silent auction. We write them one big check. But, you know, we encourage you as the, the it is the season for Toys for Tots. So if you feel like it, you can just go to their donation page or you can donate a toy or whatever you yeah, want to do. If you feel like supporting over the holidays. Uh, a, a spokesperson from the organization actually said, just Google it. He's just Google it. With your, <laughs> like... City or, state, city or state, so you can yeah. find your local chapter. Yeah. Um, so that's, you know. They both say hi. We have donated um, to them in the past. Oh, I hope that you guys, Caitlin and Oh, Teresa, wow. 363 away from 5,000? What? I'm going to look in a second. There must be, must have been must some have others been a boom. That, that we missed. I only saw the one notification on the phone. I will. Uh, Super chat from Jeff Winbush, though, says W2F is going on. <laughs> WF is Sarah going on about? I'm so confused. Sorry, Jeff. I she was figured saying, it out. The novelty. It's of the it. novelty of she, it. She she painted a painting of Castle and Key, and put it in the silent auction, and it sold for the novelty of it. <laughs> I guess the novelty of it. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah. Thank you also to um, Mark. Uh, I believe. Mark Misselman, is that right? Uh, I believe so. Oh, yeah. And it said, thank you for a wonderful night. <laughs> I'm connecting nice. all my dots. My brain's, them a, dots my brain's a little tired. I'm yeah. sure you guys are sick of hearing that. I feel like you hear that from me every weekend. <laughs> uh, yeah. there's, that, there's that link again. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate you. Even if we don't get to there, it's okay. I just, you know. 240 away. I like... Uh, I feel like by the end of it, we might get there. I like, you know, those even... I so. Num I mean, it's not an even... Well, it's an even... It's yeah, it's an even number. No, it's an even number. I guess you're right. Yeah. I thought it took me a second. Nah. Brain, not working so good. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Well, while we wait to find out what the mystery pour was, mm -hmm. um, what so, shall we do? Well, uh, I'm going to put up the thumbnail for the evening, which was not that one, this one. Uh, you can see the bottles there that were were killed. Now, uh, the turkey tradition, I put a hurting on that one. <laughs> Uh, the Wild Turkey 101s there and the Benchmark Bonded, those were uh, cocktail. cocktail bourbons. The Turkey 101 was Thursday's cocktail. No, switch it. Uh, that's right. Uh, the Benchmark Bonded was Thursday's cocktail. And uh, Friday was the Wild Turkey. And instead of like, you know, just going out and buying regular Wild Turkey 101 from today, we had some from like 2013 through 2015. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, yeah. That, uh, and all cocktails made with syrups by Sarah. Yeah, like... Is like, what we should have called it. Like <laughs> this guy from 2013. This was... Um, we have... This This was a new bottle at the time um, as far as being opened. So we, we have this much left of this guy. But uh, nothing like some, you know, 10-year-old or 10-year-old ago while Turkey 101. To go in your cocktails. To go in your uh, cocktails. Good base. You know, we do what we can. We had sort of farmed a bunch out for our wedding in 2019. Mm -hmm. That was going to be our well. <laughs> and we, we had a lot left over because there wasn't a lot of well drinks. Uh, $50 I from... Oh, from Tony Bag of Donuts. Thank you so much. Nice. Appreciate it. We're getting close. All right, I'm ready to drink something else. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, what can I do? Sweet. I thought there was a... You can see it. View the donation page. Um, yeah. So, anywho, let's bring that up again. Uh, no surprise about the George C. Stag. Or the Stag, honestly. Uh, the George C. Stag was low, but I didn't want to not bring it just because it was low. Um, the stag was, was pretty full. That was a pick. The turkey tradition. Oh, the, I enjoyed much of that. The, um, the Blanton's straight from the barrel. Did it, grab this. it got finished? Yeah. It was full. This is it was very full. the hunt. 
uh, bottle from what? the challenge. That's cool. Edition. So we'd only drank this on the live after that Friday's episode. We tasted it because we didn't taste it in the episode and we should have. And we should have when we learned a lesson and for we next didn't time. Drink any more of it and we put it on the bar and it got and it got killed. killed. We also had a low amount of Bland's Gold that also got finished off. That got off. finished quickly. And this is the last bit from uh, our butterscotch, butterscotch effect. effect pick. So we I shall will officially it. finish it. We'll kill it. Do we have another one? Murder. I'm team murder. <laughs> hope. I hope this gets picked up from Matt Madness. Oh, Sean. Team murder. Uh, Sean with a $50 oh, uh, donation Oh, well. thank you. Sorry I missed that. Yeah. A few seconds ago. Sweet. Thank you, guys. So, yeah, finishing this out. Bye-bye, butterscotch effect. Mm. What else? Very different than what we were just drinking, but also very tasty. Oh, yeah. Here's the George T. Stag. It was the 144.1, the hazmat. That was obviously going away. Was this low mm. when we took it? It was about half. Really? I didn't take anything that was lower than half. Okay. Well, this is our Elijah for our Craig. Pick, for our picks, anyway. This is just Elijah Craig small batch bourbon in the middle. I'm surprised that it got finished just because with everything there, I didn't think the 94 proof Elijah Craig small batch was going to get finished, but I'm okay with it. Well, you know, it, it was it was sort of half and half people that the uh, crowd that we knew and ones that we didn't. So there might have been some lower proof uh, drinkers. Steven and Bambi, thank you so much for your donation. I'm pretty sure we're over it. Uh, not over it, uh, <laughs> over our, Sarah. what we said, 5,000. <laughs> uh, ignore me. Yeah, I can't, uh, it's hard to refresh on the phone. Like it's not a pull down type of ref. Strange. Or wait, wait, maybe it is. Or wait, is it? Or 43, just... or 49.53. So I mean, less than $50 away from the goal. You know, it's close enough. No, it's not folks, we'll it's... get there. We'll get there. Uh, we'll get there. It is an important cause. I feel like when we oh. picked that cause, I heard from so many people. It's just not something that, I don't know. We just don't, it's not talk. Not that it's not talked about, but you know what mm -hmm. I mean? I just, yeah. I hadn't realized until we picked that cause as a partner for this charitable event that pretty much, not everybody. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. A lot of people that we talk to. More people are affected than we realized. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> <laughs> Help! <laughs> What's happening? Am I having a stroke? <laughs> like, does it smell like toast to you? I don't smell toast. Brian, thank you for the donation. Mine is still showing 49.57. Oh, I'm pretty we sure we're over we it an... by, like, over the amount at this point. Ex uh, why don't you say it? Uh, we have exceeded <laughs> the goal. You know what? Good night. <laughs> I'm gonna go upstairs. Chad's yeah, gonna finish the episode. Yeah, mine's still saying 49.57, but um, as you said, that's that's very close. Now here's one that I recommended to a lot of people because we said, you know, if if you're wondering what to get, come see one of us. And I recommended this, and I had a few pours of this myself. Did you? I did not have any of this because. The cork was broken, and I was like, I want this bottle finished. <laughs> the cork, you You're know. You're like, oh, we can't. So this is very old St. Nick. 15 plus is what it's called. It's 15.96 years old. We hit it. We hit it. 51? 51. Oh, seven. Thank you guys so much. Oh, yay. I keep that is awesome. so proud of us. Thank you all. Yep, there it is. 5107. Um, just so that you all know. That's awesome. That we're not, I mean, we so appreciate your donations. All the proceeds from the E.H. Taylor event, so the raffling of the bottles um, and ticket sales, ticket sales, like whatever wasn't, you know, put towards covering. We had to get the space and the food and everything. It was a nonprofit event. Everything yeah. else we put and you can look in our donation history. Uh, we donated a very large chunk to that. So just so yes. you know, we're not just out here like. No, pandering it's, without having also donated ourselves. It's, yeah, it's on there. Um, I'm gonna get to this ketchup question here in a second, but don't. I want to finish start this. Start with the ketchup. <laughs> so, 15.96 years old, and the story is that this got dumped two weeks too early than they meant to. They meant to keep it in the barrels until it had its, six, its sweet 16, and mm. then they could have called this a 16-year-old bourbon. But someone goofed up and dumped it a couple weeks early. So it's, so it's technically 15.96 16. years old. Very old St. Nick. And the rumor, very uh, substantiated rumor, is that this is 
or was uh, wild turkey. Oh. So how um, come you didn't make sure some of that got in my glass? Under nine point three proof. You'd had it before. Well, just, I don't remember. Just not in a minute. <laughs> so this one did get killed. Uh, the very full um, Michter's ten that was there uh, is a R.I.P. is a bottle kill. Uh, what else? Here's that, that stag, stag total wine pick mm -hmm. that was 134.4. Now I'll tell you what I'm surprised by that didn't get killed. Yeah, me too. That's why I pulled it and we're going to drink that. Ooh. Well of foolproof, this was a fresh crack. Um, this is a um, uh, Wise Guys, which is pizza joint. Um, pizza. Well, technically Goodfellas is a pizza joint. Wise it's Guys is the... Bourbon it's bar funny component. because we they do like raffle entries based on if you spend X number of dollars or whatever, you get raffle entries occasionally into their, they do bourbon lotteries. And so last year at our fall meetup in 2022, we went there and like because we spent, you know, whatever we spent to take our group there for pizza and cocktails, they were like, you're entered into Thousands our raffle, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and we're like, that's cool. Okay, bye. Didn't think about it again because we were so busy with our group trip. And then like, what, a week or two later that you get a call that's like, hey, by the way, you won this Weller Foolproof. Like, what well, won the right to buy You won the right it. to buy it for what? It was retail. It was like 35, 30. 40, 40 bucks maybe. Something like that. Yeah, wild. So yeah. Chad was like, well, I'll donate it to the Big Bourbon Bar. And mm -hmm. isn't that nice of him? So I'm glad there's a little left because we didn't... Well, we I, I tried it there. I but, did not try it. Um, I want to try it now. I'd like to try it now as well. Oh, Pam was there, Pam. Pam's got to meet, here. Uh, Pam. Aww. Everybody you know? said, she's so cute. <laughs> and I said, I agree. That's right. And then she ate her dinner that she was after, and then she said, <laughs> she bye, got her loser. salad that she bye, losers. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just teasing so her. So, William, with a quick ketchup question, Heinz, Hunts, or Off-Brand, had a great eating on Friday. So many kind and generous individuals. Thank you for hosting and for your generosity. Love that that's your profile pic now. <laughs> apparently, I will forever be shamed because I buy... Not off brand. You buy artisan. No, uh, no, no. It's just I, like for the ketchup, ketchup. I just it's just the store brand organic ketchup. Oh, okay. And so apparently, I thought it was. I'm the fancy. Worst. No, I buy the fancy mayo. Ah. Uh, like the fancy mayo. Sir Kensington. Sir Kensington. He's not a lord. He's just a sir. Well. <laughs> we all can't be lords. And I like the fancy, I like fancy mustard too, but ketchup is all, is tomatoes and sugar and what? I mean, never mind. I don't want to get started on this. Yeah. There was the great ketchup debate following Friday night. The um, great ketchup debate of 2023. Yep. I lost. <laughs> I lost that debate. I shall not be running for ketchup office. <laughs> Condiment office Condiment is not for me. office. Uh, we're at 52.09. Whoa, raised. you guys. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm like, okay, you don't have to do it anymore. No. <laughs> you do whatever you want, but no pressure. Oh, people have opinions. About the ketchup? Hunts is trash. Everybody thinks Sir Hunts... Sir buys catsup? <laughs> oh my gosh. I like, I, you know, I'm... Why do we always get off on these tangents? I can be a little picky about some things, especially condiments. And I think the ketchup that you buy is perfectly I think it's acceptable. fine. Yeah. I have never tasted it and been like, this ketchup's trash. I mean, sort of like a... Um, but you do know bad a, ketchup when you have it. A Twizzler red vine type of, you know, some people are on this side of the fence. I hate them both. On that side of the fence. I hate licorice. Yeah. Gross. Uh, what's another like off-brand thing? I don't know. Uh, well, there's, there's cola, you know, like, um, yeah, Sam's Club, cola. Sure. Can't participate in that either. And some people like Die Hard Coke, Die Hard Pepsi. How do those people feel about soda streams? Well, now Pepsi makes the things for the soda streams. The pods, yeah. the K-cups. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah, which is interesting. I also don't have a feeling on that I don't drink soda. So Duke's Mayo matter. for the win. Duke's is excellent. Yeah. Um, Heinz only. Ketchup is only for people who can't afford tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like ketchup. I like tomatoes. In general. 
I don't like hunts. Does that make you happy? I don't like hunts. Okay. Is this okay? And we said this that night. We don't like those restaurants that when you ask for ketchup, they bring you their... Our chef has made chef his um, made. homemade uh, tomato chutney or whatever for your fries. And I'm like, give me the Heinz. In a restaurant, I'll be like, can I have Heinz yeah, ketchup? that stuff is never good. Sorry for buying organic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a spoiled baby. So, uh, we haven't had a whole lot of Weller foolproof um, picks. We have our one bottle. And actually, it's harder to find a non-pick. Well, it's really hard to find an option. We had one that was donated by Matt Preston, who uh, helped us out because uh, he's uh, LBS with Lexington Bourbon Society. The silent auction. Silent auction. In case you didn't legality. If you didn't know this, as a for-profit company, you cannot host a silent auction in which alcohol is included. It's illegal. Uh, and if you want to do it, you have to partner with a 501c non profit charity and then you also have to get a special license and you have to get like 10 different people to sign it and you have to go to the abc office and you have to do and a we lot did of all that we jumped and through we all did those hoops. all of that so did that it. we could yes but if it weren't for the help of matt preston from the lexington bourbon society we would not have been able to raise twenty three hundred dollars for charity so thank you matt uh he's not oh. out there but he's out there somewhere what we, is it we have our answer what was it for the mystery bottle yes mystery pour. the mystery pour that we started out with uh, I would say yes, vintage. We were both wrong on the distillery. Okay, what was it? It's Maker's Mark. Wild. So, 90 proof. Okay, we said, I said not higher than 90 proof. Yeah, I said 80 to 86. It's a really, uh, not to use the S word, <gasps> but it's really smooth. Um, yeah, it's a gold wax bottle. Uh, what year is it from? I don't know. Let me see if he... No. Ask him. Ask him. This is the episode where we were all on our phones. <laughs> but for good reason. Important things. Yeah. So Important things to do. While we wait for that, here's this Willow Rule Proof. Yeah. Oh, I've been drinking it. Mm. You know. Yeah, pretty good. 114 proof. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. It's a little harsh on the finish. Like, it's like extra char and uh, I don't know. I think if you asked me, I think I would rather have a Weller 12 or a, or a 107, an antique. Um, some people will probably be like, that's blasphemous, but it's just, I'm kind of with you. I've, it's just not the one. Usually, I mean, like I said, we haven't had a, a deep dive into mm -hmm. Weller Foolproofs, but the three now <laughs> uh, different bottles that I've had, I'm usually like, yeah, give me that 107. Yeah. This is good, though. I think if I want high proof Weller, I just want, I'm a, WLW? Again, a, a spoiled not this baby. Year. I want a WLW, except for this nah, year. You would still, I want you would still a take previous it. years. Uh, where is it at? Get it. It's right back there. You get it. You get it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Sean Dobbins, who, calling an audible. who joined us Friday, he said, I'm uh, I'm glad and sad that I finally got to try your OG Knob Creek pick. It was amazing. Oh. And now I'm sad I can't have more. LOL. I'm sorry. Yeah. Not surprised that that bottle got killed. All right. Um, let's hear. Let's combine forces. Okay. This is not going in our best of the year, so Just we don't bit. have to conserve. Well, still. It's WLW. <laughs> Ooh. Do what I want. <laughs> You're the one who like, Just give me a little it's of, 50 of anything. It's 50% my bottle as well. Yeah. That's true. I'm taking it. People are still talking about ketchup, by the way. Great. I'm glad we're getting good, enga <laughs> good in ketchup engagement. Ketchup engagement. Yep. Um... Yeah, Graham says agree, 107. Yeah. But you see that on the bar. Well. <laughs> oh, when you put it like that. When you put it like that. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, when you compare them. Yeah. That was a stupid thing to do. 
Yeah, what did you think? Like, actually, I prefer this. Well, it's two high-proof welders. I just want to see. I just want to see wow. how big of a difference it makes. It makes a difference. Yeah. Still not my favorite to say, WLW. To say a WLW is fourth or fifth out of that year's BTAX is not saying it's bad. Right, it's just saying. It's just saying not as. Not as. Fantastically as amazing as, yeah. as, as before. So Perry says, uh, so again, if you're just joining us, it was a mystery port at the beginning of the episode. Um, it's a old maker's mark. He says, that's the one I'm assuming is late 60s, early 70s. I've never strip had. and no UPC code. I've never had a maker's mark that was that old before. That old. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for sharing, Perry. Yeah, thanks, Perry. That's great. That was fun. I mean, we got the proof, kind of, and we got that it was vintage, but I have never had True. makers that's from that era, so... We, we did at uh, um, St. Louis. Remember, um, someone brought that old makers. I don't think it was that yes, old. Yes, I remember, I but it wasn't that, was that old. I think 80s? it was eighties. Yeah. yeah, it was just. It a was also old very good. Ninety proof red wax makers. You're but right. It, it was. It was very good. But that's the the extent of our experience. So, are are you guys? You know, also, um, what's the word? Like. If this were on a bar and it was you could choose whatever you, you wanted to drink for four hours or five hours. Are you shocked? On, are you shocked that this bottle didn't get killed? I'm, or are you like, eh. I mean, it's I'm, pretty, it's I'm pretty, pretty low. Surprised. It's pretty low. But I, am, I think the other yeah. reason why I'm surprised is because, like, we were joking that basically Friday's event, the Big Bourbon Night, was kind of a copy <laughs> and paste of our wedding reception. Except for that instead of a ceremony, uh, we had a silent auction. <laughs> Yeah, and the bar was bigger. Than the bar wedding. was bigger. We had more bottles. We had this stair step behind us at the wedding bar. Right, and we had a bigger stair step. Um, oh, yes. Oh, Se my, yes. And seven, we had two bars. Seven steps. But it was basically... Yeah, 100, it, 150 bottles. For the most part, it was the, the same thing. And I mean, the, what was different, obviously, was the crowd. Right, um, all bourbon drinkers. All bourbon drinkers at this one, whereas yeah. before, you know, friends and family, a lot of whom are bourbon drinkers, and I will tell you the first things that got killed at our wedding bar were all the Weller bottles we put up there, like immediately gone. So I think that we had that in our mind still, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the back of our mind, that expectation. Yeah. So for this to still be sitting up there at the end, we were like, oh, well, that's, maybe that's weird. You know, <laughs> when you think about it, maybe you, you take a wedding crowd who is probably <laughs> bourbon... Uh, enthusiasts, but not like hardcore bourbon drinkers who might watch something on Sunday night uh, and drink along and talk about bourbon. What are you trying to say about and that? And then you take that that type of crowd, mm. maybe they're less on the the Buffalo Trace. I think the Venn diagram, it's there's a sliver in the middle, but... Um, oh, definitely. There's definitely overlap. I'm just saying, you know, maybe... But they're different circles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's interesting. Now, the wild turkey tradition, I'm not surprised. Anything vintage. I drank... Uh, two or three. I mean, small pours. Like, yeah. I'm, I asked the bartender, like, give me little pours. Because I, I wanted I, to sample. I wish I had tried it again before it was all oh, gone. It was so good. Um, meh, you know, you, yeah. do, you do what you do. It was the move. We and also, I tried to switch from that to scotch, and I was immediately like... <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, start. Nope. It was, too, end, end it was too much. Um, if you're wondering what... The next to the Justin's House of Bourbon back there on the top row, it's just got a piece of tape on it. And then that Michter's next to it, which is just a US one. Like, why Why was that drained? Those were actually just bottles that we used to put uh, a couple of Jim Beam decanters mm. into it. So that was a 19... Because 19... we did... Hmm? Well, we did silent auction the, the decanters. The decanters. The so, 60, 1964 and a half. Yeah, if you remember that episode where we found that 64 and a half uh, unopened Mustang... Um, decanter from the 80s at a, at a, a state, state sale. State sale. That was that. Um, so that bourbon was on the bar and it got killed. Mm -hmm. And then we also had a, a VW Bug 1973 Beam 86 proof, whereas the Mustang was 80, uh, that was also on the bar. There wasn't much of that left because we shared most of that at our one of yeah, our last Yeah, But there was a little bit left. So we thought. So those no. both got killed and auctioned off. Um, not surprising that both of those got killed. Anything vintage, the Wild Turkey uh, 101 eight year that was a leader. That got killed. Uh, it wasn't completely full, but yeah, that got mm. polished off. And I think that was all of our vintage. That was all of our vintage. Yeah, we got to work on getting some more vintage for, for sure. next time. 
because uh, I guess we'll be doing it again. It was a success, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, there's a few things we would change, like we need way more help. <laughs> oh, yeah. We cannot do it by ourselves. No. What a mistake. Um, thankfully, some kind folks who I'm sure many of you are in the chat mm -hmm. truly would not have made it without their help. Uh, yeah. Just a great crowd. But anyways, we'll just leave that there. But yeah, we hope to do it again. We also hope to do the E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof Dinner again because um, our generous donor who gave us the first six bottles gave us five more bottles and then we happen to have an unopened 2016. So now we can do 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Crazy. I know, crazy. And if we can get this year's, then we could... Oh, yeah. We could raffle the 2016 since mm -hmm. we did it in the last one and we could taste 17, 17 through, 17 through 23. 23. So be on the lookout. But that won't be for a while. Yeah, that would be like around that, this time next year. Uh, well, yeah, sometime next yeah. year. We'll talk. We'll talk. Keith is asking, he said, saw a Hancock's Reserve on the shelf for 99 Is that a buy? I mean, I know the MSRP on that has gone up, but it, I, mean, I don't it think just it's up to 99 We for like We had one of those bucks. in the silent auction and it went for around 200 bucks so yeah. uh that was donated by krista right? again and, and yes Jush? and Jish. uh again for charity but still yeah um, yeah i think i was over 99 if you've never had it before and you've always been curious it, i mean it's it's the lowest proof of those four single yeah. barrels yeah 88.9 proof but it's not my personal favorite bottle but like bad. it's not one that you see very often yeah, so so probably it's not sold in kentucky only at liquor barn because they like bought those rights so, it's especially tough here. Do you want another sip? Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you meant the last one. Yes. It was the, there was okay. only one sip left. <laughs> there was only um, one sip remaining. What else were we surprised that didn't get completely just polished off? I'm sort of looking over at the at the bar. We had a couple of mixtures, uh, uh, the, the toasted bourbon toasted rye that we've done on live i was surprised that those didn't get finished they had, um, they had a hurting put on them but they're not finished i uh hmm what was i gonna say i was just thinking of something did those justin's house of bourbon bottles get finished one of them did one of them didn't okay so we had a 12 year and a 13 year justin's house of bourbon bottles and i don't know which one got finished and which one didn't but i assumed that both of those would get finished yeah they're probably i mean they're 12 and 13 years worst um barrel proof barrel proof uh, right uh martin yeah, and not widely distributed, so I figured a lot of people would want to try them. But again, with 150 plus bottles, what are you gonna do? You know, you, everyone can only try so much. And I was actually really proud of our group. Nobody puked, <laughs> which is the goal, right? It's a tasting event and not a, we're not doing keg stands. <laughs> so it looks like the 12 year got Or at least finished. I didn't do a keg stand. And the 13. The 13 year didn't get finished. The 13 remains. Well, let's try some. Oh, I'm out of clean glasses. All right, well, we shall start recycling. Chad got up, so drink. That's right. We also had every IBN pick. That's us, IBN. Ever. Plus uh, two previews of upcoming picks Ooh. that we're able to get a little preview of. Yeah. And we, yeah, as you already said, the um, Elijah Craig bourbon in the middle got finished. Obviously, the Knob Creek Mash, Mash Made in Heaven. Heaven got killed. Turn that one around. There you go. Yeah, for the stickers. And then both of our four gates. So the Toasted Bourbon and the Toasted Rye, which isn't... That doesn't surprise me. Isn't surprising. Um, I think it's like one of those things where... And that's kind of what I kept telling people when they were like, what do you recommend? And I would say, you know, the obvious things. And they were like, yeah, I've tried all that. And the next thing I would say would be those bottles that come with higher price points that you may or may not have tried before it's like try it here now you've already paid your ticket price so give mm -hmm. it a get a little taste and try it and then you can make a decision next time you're out do you want to buy that bottle or not right. like i feel like that's where the value comes in mm -hmm. you can try those 200 hundred dollar bottles and be like mm, this isn't for me or yes i definitely want that we had a kentucky par uh 12 year and a sam houston 15 and neither <clears throat> one of those got finished it's crazy yeah but you know i get it you want to try more things than one in thing in a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Although, you know, some people kind of found a favorite and, and it, stuck I with mean, it. Hey, 
Our 1792, uh, drink 1792 almost got finished. Oh, it was really, very close. <laughs> it was really close. That is a, oh, that is a good nose. It smells like banana bread. It does. But not in a super banana-y way, not quite the same as like. In a brown a, foreman way? Yeah, brown foreman, old forester type of way. In a Barton More way. More of like a caramelized um, bananas foster waffle mm -hmm. kind of way. Oh, you know what we haven't Ooh, talked now about? I want a bananas foster waffle. Oh, that sounds so good. Please. Please. <laughs> the stout beer finished in wheat science barrels was very good Friday night. We did tap that keg. It did not. I mean, if some people drank it. It got drank on, but yes. it did not get finished. Did it was a sixth keg. Yeah. And it did not get finished. What do you do with a keg that's already been tapped? Yeah, you throw a party. Well, I don't want to throw a party. I just threw two parties. Or you find someone who's throwing a party. Are you guys you... throwing a party? Are you throwing a party? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we also have another sixth barrel or sixth keg hanging out, but how long do those stay good for? You, we looked it up. It's like uh, four to six months. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Cool. Because I know like restaurants and stuff, they keep them around. We have cans. We have cans. This guy really likes cans. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, they're in two packs. They're the tall boys. It's 12.4% uh, ABV. Um, they were finished in uh, our wheat science barrels, or this one was a single barrel of the three wheat science blend, and it had vanilla beans uh, added to it. Mm -hmm. It was Mirror Twin Imperial Stout. Very chocolatey. Beer. Very tasty. But not like super heavy like a lot of those no. are. I could drink a full can, whereas most of those I'm like, give me a half to a, f a third. Yeah, usually with a stout, I want like a, you know, a snifter pour because they're too heavy for me. But this one, it was like... It was rich and chocolatey, but it didn't feel, you know, like sometimes when you drink them, you feel really full and it yeah. didn't feel that way. Yeah. Um, so inquire. It's bourbon at gmail.com. If you are a beer drinker who likes uh, bourbon barrel aged beers, hit uh, us up. It's, it's bourbon at gmail.com. One time only. Then it's gone. Uh, so yeah. And please be patient because I have a lot of emails to get through, but uh, <laughs> I will get back to you. Yes. This is good. This is good. We should, we should throw a holiday party. Please don't make me throw a holiday party. <laughs> we should crash a holiday party. We should party crash someone's holiday just party. Be like, we brought, we brought the, the bear. keg. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm. This is very good. I like that. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh, we should shout out uh, some bottles that were gifted to us. Great. I'm ready when you are. <laughs> We got a uh, John J. Bowman single barrel right here, which is 100 proof that we are looking forward to getting into. The other two bottles here, and also we got lots of samples um, that we didn't bring down, but lots of samples were left with us, which we appreciate. This is from Danny's Candies, who was in the chat earlier, I saw. Yeah, uh, uh, Journeyman. Yeah, it's a pick. This uh, uh, one Fred Minix bourbon of the year uh, 2023 this year and dana who was also in the chat before uh kindly donated this yeah, yeah. this is uh american, oh yeah i should say what this is american <laughs> a spirits blended bourbon whiskey yeah uh 116 proof this, oh. this guy's 118.3 so very nice y'all know that we like some proof that's right i suppose why is my phone why is your phone? Oh, because we gave, we shouted out our email address. <laughs> oh. We'll turn the buzzing off. Uh. It's okay, don't do it right now. We'll uh, do it later. Just put it somewhere where it doesn't go bzzz, Do not bzzz. disturb. Great, go. do not disturb. So don't disturb him. Beautiful. <laughs> I'll disturb him enough for everyone. That Justin's House of Bourbon bottle, $300, no? Um, for the 13 year, I think it was getting up around $300. Yeah. The, um, the 12. Which is again, why I'm really surprised that it didn't get finished. Yeah. I guess it's just, you know, doesn't have the label, uh, recognizability. Recon like the, quite the reach. Right. People see it and they're like, especially people who aren't in Kentucky, don't know what Justin's House of Bourbon is. Um, I'd be like, what, what's that? Don't know. I just think it's another source thing, which it is a source thing, but... Sean said, I just emailed you about the beer. Why haven't you responded yet? Oh, you're funny. I will, but maybe not tomorrow because I got to catch up.
Ketchup? Ketchup. Ketchup. Ah, it's a sacred word. Ah. Oh my gosh, ketchup. $5,200 update on that. Uh, wow. Thanks, Scott Peasley. Yeah, Fleet. that's awesome. It's so great. I'm very proud of that. We were, yeah, I'm really proud of that. Yeah. It was a good cause. It was a good night, too. I think everyone had a good time, which is why we'll do it again. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, let's see. What else? No, no more else. <laughs> no more else? No. Oh, we had, um, I mean, I guess this might sort of be going back to what you said about the group, how, like, at the wedding, mm. it may have gotten more attention, but with this group... Depends on your crowd. I'm talking about the Henry McKenna. We had a full Henry McKenna, and it maybe got, you know, a, couple, a, a couple pours yeah. well, out of it. Which, again, I think it's you know. the crowd. It's mm -hmm. not like, ooh, ah, for right. the people who were paying to come to this event know their stuff. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, wedding guests are just like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, there's that McKenna that I oh, can't Oh, I never see that on the show. Never find I'll get the, some of that. At the store, yeah. Whereas so. they definitely wouldn't have drank something like this because they would be like, what is it? Exactly. You know? Or they look at that proof and go, <laughs> and go oh, so hot. It's too so, high proof So for me. hot. 118 proof. Ooh. That's kind of high. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like to do over 100 proof. No shame. No shame in it. There are probably there would have been still tons of stuff uh, for that person as well. Mm -hmm. Also, all the blands would have been gone immediately. Yes. I mean, it already was it already gone was. quickly. Yeah. The gold was gone quickly, but they would have been like, "Y'all got any more blands?" The barrel, yeah, was also killed. And that was a full. That was a full bottle. So again, that Venn diagram. That's where the crossover happens. Mm -hmm. But if we just had like a regular bottle of blands, yeah, on Friday, I don't think it would have been killed. But at a wedding bar, it would definitely get killed. Yes. You know? Yes. Yes. Do you think YouTube flags you for how many times you say killed? No. No. I guess for like video game streaming channels. Right. And stuff. Yeah. Or they all just do. There's a lot of words you can't say what on TikTok. What do the kids use? Twitch? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anyways. I'm kind of sleepy. Sarah wants to check out early. Which well, is fine. We weren't really hard. Which is fine. <laughs> we it was it was a very, very uh, worthwhile, and also very challenging couple yeah. of days, um, and we're very satisfied with how things turned out. But also, my body has not recovered yet. <laughs> I'm tired. I want to talk about one more thing, Sarah. Okay, I'll allow it. <laughs> Because we were already talking about Justin South Suburb, and this was happens to be a pick from them. I told you I was tired. Wathens, Wathens Barrel Proof. Um, this is the first pick that they did of it, I think during their first year. 116.9 proof. This was completely filled to the top. And it got, you know, maybe a fourth of it drank. Mm -hmm. Which, I don't know if I would say I'm, like, surprised by it, but... Uh, Todd Cooper would say he's not surprised by it. He didn't like his, but it's a... Tastes like dirt. It's a pick. And I tried his, and it did taste like dirt, but this one does not taste like dirt. That's right. So, I'm just going to have a wee nip of it. And that's not saying tastes like dirt as in this tastes like crap. It actually tasted like, like earth. Very earthy. Like yeah. mud. Yeah. Mud. Hundred and sixteen point nine. Mm. Doesn't really smell earthy, does it? No. It's not the same pick. Well, well yeah. Actually it smells kind of um savory. Hmm. Okay. You know like a brown sugar glazed ham? I'm familiar. That's what it smells like to me. Like savory and sweet, like a honey baked ham almost. Yeah. But with like a brown sugar yep. element to it. Okay. I've never said that note before. Doesn't taste like ham. Doesn't taste like ham. Doesn't taste like ham. Doesn't taste like dirt either. Does not taste like it's dirt. It's more fruity than I thought. It's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. And it, come on, it's in the Elmer T. Lee bottle. Come on. Come on. We've had this bottle for a while. We have, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. 
I think, was it 2017 or 2018? We got... I think it was 17, and then a year later I got it signed. Yeah. By Sam Medley. Sam Medley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 18 is when 18. he signed it. Yep. So we got it in 17. He signed it in 18. So we've been hanging on to this one for a while. Um, put that up on the bar. Mm-hmm. And that was a fresh, right? It was not open. Or had uh, it just been barely open? Yeah, I think we had had like... A pour or two. Yeah, okay. a pour from it. So it was it was up there. I mean, people tried it. And, and that's sort of like one thing that we, we said. Like, obviously, you all are experienced bourbon drinkers. You know how to order from a bar. But, you know, one thing that we would kind of recommend that you might not do at a bar where you have to pay for things, you know, you've already paid your ticket and you can pick whatever you want is to pick those things that you've maybe been looking at buying at a store, but you're like, I've never had it. I don't know. Or just things like, I've never had this. I have no opinion of that. I would like to have an opinion of that. So let me try that. And I think some people did. Yeah. Hence, you know, maybe. It got some, uh, it's awesome. It's got some, yeah. Because obviously you want to... It's awesome, actually. <laughs> you want to go for those ones. You want to try to get a, you know, a little pour of the George C. Stag or, you know, these ones where you're like, I want that vintage. I want that uh, eight-year age-stated turkey. I want that traditions. I want, you know, mm -hmm. the straight from the barrel. So those are obviously, there's like a timely thing to that. I want to sure. be one of the people who gets that. But then after that, or at least, you know, my... my if I was there as a... Um, What's the word? Attendee. Attendee would be, I've never tried, you know, never s pulled the trigger $130 on that Kentucky Par 12 years. So I want to try that. So Let I, me try it. So see if I, I want to. Or never had a Sam Houston 15. I want to see what that's about. Or whatever. Yeah. And that's why we encourage, I mean, people can do whatever they want, but we encourage small pours just because then you can try more. Mm -hmm. um, it means more trips to the bar, but you know, or try a few. And then when you're like, okay, I've tried a few, my palate's getting a little fatigued. I'll get like a full, uh, not a full pour, but whatever. I'll get a healthier pour. Regular pour. I'll go sit down, hang out, have my dinner, come yeah. back later. You know, whatever. Go smoke a cigar in the yeah. cigar lounge type oh, of thing. Oh, that was nice. Which I was think, a, what was a hit. It was a hit. Yeah. Wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think they liked it. Would like to do it again. Yeah, for sure. Once I've recovered fully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Next time I'll be budgeting so that I can hire help. Well, let me just say Thursday morning and afternoon, I was finishing the stair step bar, which was two seven tier, 30 inch wide bars that connected together mm -hmm. for. Uh... <laughs> and they looked great. And I'm so I glad that so. you did them. I'm glad you got one. <laughs> you got that one picture. I got one picture. Because. Yeah. Um, it was a whole thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I, I made fun of him. Never mind. I don't want to tell you guys that. What? I was going to tell him the joke about the like, leaf blowing the gutters or whatever. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, but then they're not going to get it. I'm going to be the odd one out on that. I don't think you would. No. I don't, I don't think you would. No, it's okay. Oh. That probably made no sense, though. <laughs> I mean, no. Like, what? <laughs> oh, see, Sean had the first, uh, had Penelope Rio for the first time, and wow. Yeah, if you're a, what's it, that one's Amberana and... Honey. And honey. If you're an Amberana person, it works for you. If you're not an Amberana person, it probably doesn't work for you. The Rio almost got finished. Of course, that wow. was, that was a little low because we poured that at, um, the, uh, fall event. Yes. Yeah. We've been doing a lot of events lately. Yeah. I love hosting. No love more it. events for the rest of the year. Great, but I'm worn out. <laughs> the rest of the year is going to be keeping up with holiday orders. Yeah, for sure. And holiday content. Yeah. Yeah. Got to take pictures of new merch. And <sighs> they don't need to know our to-do list. All that jazz. All that jazz. It's long. It's long. I wish that... There was a way, someone said before that they want us to do like a day in the life. Um, oh, yeah. Like a, like a one I mean, minute long, like there is daily no, vlog. There's no typical day in the life. There's no typical, but just, just to do like a, here's what today looked like for me. Um, because I think they said like, I think there's a lot of things that you do that people don't see. That they don't know that you do. And I think, you know, we'd have to pick a day that <laughs> we're presentable, but... Um, not every day. I don't know. It could be interesting. I you might not want to hear about it, but it could be to see what kind of random chaos. I mean, I think what 
would be more interesting, Sarah, would be a week in the life, because then you would really see the variety. That's hard to fit into a one-minute piece of content. Well, it would be longer than one minute. But, uh -uh. Um, it would then, you would show the interesting parts of every day of the week and get I more of the variety. Know, I think it would be a full That would be like episode. five minutes. That's too long. I don't want to... I wouldn't want to watch that, but I wouldn't want to watch a lot of stuff. So you guys say, mm -hmm. I think just like a couple of quick, like anytime we have interesting days to do a quick, like a day in the life. And I'm not talking about like Oops. all the time, just, you know, every Those now and then. Those would be really interesting. Thank you. He was talking about mine. No, he's talking about mine. No, he was talking about mine. Gramps, you were talking about mine, right? John, choose your words carefully. Gramps, remember the saying. Don't say it. I'm not, but remember it. <laughs> he meant me. Anyways. No, no meant me. Tony uh, says seems like more of an Instagram thing. Yeah, I was thinking. Uh, see, he says totally me. Chad can't get his brain around short form content. No, I I just short form content when you're talking about a day day is all you need is one minute valuable yes it is it gets your point across quick i just pitched a short form thing the other day to you and you're like that sounds like a good idea we should have to have, find time to do it but that was a short form <laughs> thing when yeah whenever we have time mm -hmm. anyways anyways um i love the nulu all of them yep we had all four of our nulu noirs there it was good mm. but uh okay, I'm sleepy. we made it <laughs> Two nine. I knew I'd stretch it out and get I you. I said I want to go early. I'm tired. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta give them. Gramps has left the chat. <laughs> 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 yeah. I just think a few, a ser like an ongoing series of when we do like random stuff in a cool day instead of just one long episode of one random week would be. Well, you would still take the best parts of the day, but it would just illustrate the variety of things that happen within a week, as opposed to just picking one day and missing out on all the okay. minutia. All right, you win. It's your channel. I'm just here. I I'm just- Zero say. Just talking about the way I feel. Me too. No decisions. Just, this is- I feel like you're not hearing me. <laughs> you are heard, you're seen. I see you. And I ignore your suggestions. No. <laughs> and I think they're crap. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, are you reading the little d discourse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <I know. laughs> yeah. All right. Well, um, we will be back Sunday. We're going to be that doing. That sounds like a threat. <laughs> so don't test us. We will be back. Thank you guys so much for the donations to the foundation you took us from 4500 to 5200 and that was last we checked so yeah uh, uh so that's that's sincerely appreciate it yeah. and thanks for diverting your super chats there for us for the evening we want to raise money for a good cause yeah so yeah very happy about it thanks a lot oops oh thank you danny you're so nice <laughs> you make me feel so appreciated thank you love it she is seen i am seen and validated and i have made it to nine o'clock i stretched it <laughs> all right folks we will see you next sunday where we'll be doing uh something completely different but very much the same and it's a surprise to everyone including us it is but we'll figure it out and it'll be <laughs> something good but uh thanks for watching we really do appreciate it uh, especially for all those donations to a very worthy cause uh, thanks so much, guys. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.